present that. Okay. So I have been dying to get one of these for months. Uh, it started when I was hearing all my friends talk about lymphatic massages, lymphatic massage this, I'm deep bloated, I feel incredible. And I was like, okay, I want one, I want a lymphatic massage. So I started looking online and it's, they're just ridiculously expensive. So I did more research and I was like, okay, well, wh what is this? And I discovered that there are these tools, you guys probably own or have heard of like the Jade face roller. I've got one, I love it, but this, is like an elevated, even better, more useful tool because, and it's called a gua sha tool and typically made out of stone, sometimes jade, sometimes quartz, it varies. Anyway, the, the point is that you can use this tool to give yourself your own lymphatic massage at home. So I was like, bingo, done, let's get one. And then I don't have to go get some $450 thing that, you know, maybe I'll want more of and not be able to afford. So this tool is made by the essentialist. Once again, really simple, like all recyclable packaging, which I love. You open up the box and inside is your little um, tool, it's a box within a box, but still all recyclable. Um, they give a little ad for their skin oil. Um, which is something that you're going to want to have when using this tool. I do not have the essentialist oil, but I am going to get it. Um, right now I'm going to, I'm going to show you, demonstrate you guys demonstrate this with a different tool, which I mean, bleh, demonstrate this with a different oil, which is equally effective. Anyway, within this, you pull it out, you get your own little pouch here, which is super cute. Um, also, I like when products come with a little pouch to keep things in because I, I, I'm i not a germaphobe, but it is nice when you feel like things that go on your face come out and are clean and haven't been like sitting in your cabinet with the toothpaste or the bronzer or whatever. So this is really nice. Keeps it clean in here, which I like. So gua sha tool. I have some notes on this that I want to talk to you guys about because I actually think that the science behind this is powerful. And, um, and I, I, when it comes to beauty stuff, I, I enjoy knowing what I'm using and why it's useful, not just like going with the trend. Cause this is a trendy thing right now. So gua sha, gua sha is actually a, a Chinese like an ancient Chinese medicine treatment that um, is used to essentially like drain the skin of toxins, to promote blood circulation, to improve um, like your fine lines and wrinkles, help smooth those out. And also, um, like I said earlier, lymphatic drainage, which for me is like the, like the key selling point. And, uh, it also relieves tension from muscles. So if you're a big athlete, you know, you, you're not limited to just using this on your face. You can like pull out a muscle or not pull it out, but you can like massage, use this to massage like your calves, your back. I, it's, it's a tool that's like partner friendly. So you could have, you know, a, a friend or a significant other help you use this tool as well in other parts of your body that are hard to reach. But it does have this kind of like claw edge to it. So you can actually get areas in your back on your own. Um, so gua sha directly translates to scratch and sand. Um, basically the sha part is caused by bacteria or toxins that break the capillaries in our skin and form hypermia areas, which is when there's like a lot of blood. And um, uh, these toxins can also create spots in the skin or mucus, and they, they form around us in ways that we might not be able to see on the surface, but like uh, scattered sand-like condensed areas. So the gua sha, the scratch part of it, is essentially what the tool is for, and it's to help push the toxins out, drain the skin. And um, people who use this a lot swear by it because it helps uh, relieve their face of like bloating. Like today I feel super tired and it like my face feels bloated 
because I haven't used the tool yet because um, I want to do it for this um, live stream. Um, but it does make a difference because you're basically, just like in a massage, you're pushing the parts of tension out and relieving them from those like parts where they ball up and so your face can be restored to its like normal um shape which i we've all woken up and looked in the mirror and gone i don't look like this ah <laughs> i know you know what i mean um so before you use the tool on your face or, or really anywhere in the body you're gonna want to use a little oil um, again, the essentialist sells an oil. I, I don't have it with me now, so I'm going to use everyday oil. Um, and you can just do however many squirts you feel is necessary. I like to do two or three and apply that onto your face evenly. If you can use the extra on your arms and hands, and then you're going to use this tool, um, to work the different areas of the face. And there's different routines that you can find online. Um, I'm gonna try and do a little routine with you guys right now. So my sister taught me this because she has terrible issues clenching her jaw and she wakes up and her whole face hurts. Like she feels like she can't open her mouth because she's been clenching all night. So she's a big fan of these tools to help relieve jaw tension. So what you're gonna wanna do, um, generally speaking on the face, is you want to start more in the center of your face and pull outwards. Um, so you're moving the nasty stuff, be it what it might, uh, or be it what it may, and uh, pulling it out so that it's no longer like blocked in the middle. Um, so I'm gonna start here in my chin and like pull up into my jawline and then I'm noticing my jaw is a little sore right now, so I might focus on that area right where my jawbone is up here where it connects and pull that out. You want to avoid doing this, like moving it back and forth a lot. Um, I actually learned that the hard way from the jade roller because I was just like doing this. Not going to do anything, folks. You want to pull out or up depending on the area. So again, start at the jawline. I'm gonna do this like a couple times on each side, pushing it out towards the ear. Get this side. Oh, and like this little hook right here at the top is feeling so, so good. I It's almost like guilty doing this on camera because it feels so nice. And then maybe your this part is feeling a little tense. So start up at the lip and you can just pull that down. It's kind of a short, awkward area of the face, but still works. And you can do that here. Maybe one last right around the chin. Okay. Then I'm going to move up towards my scalp. And so for the scalp, um, I might choose the other end of the tool, but it, for a lot of this, it, it's kind of what feels right with your face. That's why they have different edges and there are like recommended uses for each part. But like most things in life, you know, you, you want to do what is feeling right and feeling effective. So here I'm going to switch to this part, not the hooky part, but this part. And I'm going to start in the center and I want to push up towards the hairline. And this again is alleviating like tension that is in my forehead. I actually feel, um, I get a lot of like pressure in my eyebrows. I think a lot of people do who like look at screens and whatnot. I'm also, I'm also an overthinker and I feel like it lives right here. Um, so this tool is really nice to just push it up and out into the hairline. Um, and so I'll do that a couple times. You can see my skin turning a little bit red, but that is normal and it goes down in like a few minutes. This is just because your face is being a little bit disrupted, right? It's being woken up. Um, next, after the forehead, um, it is like, I mean, it's not red, it's just pinker. Um, then I wanna go back to my little hooky tool and I wanna get under the eyes, which I feel like for so many people is one of the like, biggest like bloaty areas um, of the face. If you're tired, if you, you know, you've been cr crying, hopefully we're not all crying, um, <laughs> but 
this is going to really help. So I want to start like right kind of under the eye. And again, just like not, you don't want to push too hard. Like you don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to poke your eye and push that out towards my ear. And again, I'll do that a few times, starting right by the nose. And you want to dig in a little, but you don't want to hurt yourself. Then I'll get the other side. Right towards the ear. Um, okay. Then um, for the cheekbones, what you can do is you start down here. Again, you can pick, pick your poison. I want to use this like lumpy part here. And I'm going to use this to push up on my face, like giving kind of like a chubby baby cheek like this. And I want to go up. And again, the, like I, you can choose which little part you want to use, but it is important the direction. So you don't want to go inwards. You don't want to go back and forth. You want to go either up or out. Um, and again, there's great stuff um, that you can find like different people's tutorials. I'm just showing my kind of like quickie tutorial. And this is like already, I'm feeling such a difference uh, in the muscle. If you talk a lot like I do and then, okay. Yeah. And then I'll go out, push out, out. And so you can see now that's more or less the routine. Um, my face is looking a little red, but it feels like, looser like I feel like the muscles have been woken up I feel actually kind of more awake definitely like a relief of tension and um that was just like a very quick demonstration so before I wrap up here I just also want to go back to talking about um the use of this tool for lymphatic massages um so we have lymph nodes in various parts of our body we have them in our armpits we've got them in our neck We've got even like kind of like here in between the ribs and down, I believe, by the groin. Um, and so I have had a battle for the past like six years um, for a while with acne, cystic acne. And actually Chinese medicine changed my life, which is why I believe in tools like this that have been around for years. It just happens that now they're trendy because people discovered them. Um, <laughs> so I battled with acne for years and and it was all digestive related so i'm constantly learning more about how my stomach works and what my stomach likes what my body likes to eat to survive what you know gives me acne what makes me bloated the whole nine yards so this tool can actually be used to um drain lymph nodes throughout the body not just in the face but you can use this on your neck you can use this on your legs arms really anywhere you want but one of the reasons why i bought it was to use on my stomach so um i i'm not i'm not feeling like i'm gonna show my belly today but i'll just show you like you can you want to move the tool in like a circular motion um like clockwise on your stomach in order to help relieve bloating. And you, you typically want to do this lying down or down kind of like low towards the groin area. But this these motions um, really help your body kind of like relax. And so you are able to digest better. Um, it's going to like help move around any of the like water in your stomach and stuff and it, it, like through draining lymph nodes, you're also like draining toxins. So you're also de-bloating, it's all related. Um, and so that was one of the things that I had been reading about online and I wanted to get one of these tools to, to do it. And it, um, I'm not saying that like you do this one time and then you're like, my jeans fit, but it does make you feel better. Um, and I think that in, on, our, on our journeys, to feeling better, which I think we're all on every day, that having something like this when you lie down at night or maybe like before you go out to dinner with friends, maybe you're like feeling kind of bleh, this will help just alleviate some of that. And the more you do it, the more benefits you can experience. And um, 
again, you can do this with like lymph nodes in the back of your neck. And this is actually the hooky part is insane for that. Like I'm just starting kind of behind my ear and pulling it out. And it just, it's crazy. I think I'm also dehydrated today. So I have like this tiny headache, but every time I move this tool, it's like the headache goes away a little bit. It's so nice. <laughs> Um, and again, like my, my partner and I will sometimes like, be like, Hey, Nick, like, can I get a little massage? And he'll like use this tool a little bit on the back, sometimes with the wavier edges, which are nice. Um, it's great for athletes too. Um, you know, you've got sore muscles. This will help like relieve stress, um, in those areas. And for, for, for different things, like I, I believe that you, you probably should, jump on the web and like look up how to use um, the tool like specifically to target certain areas because I'm not an expert on it all. Um, but I just want to talk to you guys about what inspired me to get to the tool and how I've been using it. So um, I'm actually wrapping up here now. I've told you guys about everything, but I, I see some more people have joined. I don't know um, if anyone has any questions or anything, but um, my name is Georgia and I'm very excited to have joined Very Shop and I look forward to doing another live stream super soon um, with some other sweet products that I've been eyeing that I will not give away yet. Um, <laughs> so thanks so much for watching y'all and um, please follow me, reach out to me if you want to know anything more about these products. Uh, I'm Georgia and thanks very shop. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Bye.